hi guys welcome back to my channel unicorn fairy with it's me lee sorry for the length of this video these are just some of the items that you will need okay so you're gonna need some butterfly forms I already used one for another nail and I drew around the outline because when you peel the form off it has the outline of the where it's imprinted and I just drew it because I couldn't see because my eyes are dodgy uh, you can always use more than one you are also going to need some monomer some clear acrylic I'm using easy flow clear I was also using glam and glitz love me some blue glow in the dark powder i've mixed this with white acrylic with blue pigment glow in the dark pigment powder you're also going to need some jewelry wire this is the flat kind for rings a ring gauge this one is a european one it was a couple of quid on ebay less than five pound You're going to need some more backing paper, which uh, there was a sticky side because obviously um, sellotape doesn't stick to the outer side, the shiny side of the backing paper. And I also left a gap so that the butterfly's body can go where the gap goes. You will also need a brush. OK, I forgot to mention that you will also need some black acrylic. I'm using Pure Black by Nail Nails for the body of the butterfly. Okay guys, now well, let's get started. I've already set up the gouge, uh, the gauge even, so it's on the number size that I want and we're all ready to go. You just take a piece of this wire, cut it to the size you want and then you wrap it round to make this, the ring that you want. Just remember to leave that gap um, so the body can go there. Okay, now, so we're going to start the actual butterfly now. So you're going to need some of your clear and your monomer. And you're going to start by building a, th a layer of clear on the butterfly. Uh, we're going to start by doing the one wing to start with.
Okay, that's one side done. You only do half because obviously we want it 3D. So you make sure that when you do the second half here, where the line is, that the acrylic doesn't touch the first half because you want them to be in two separate pieces. So we'll just do that. Okay, now here is the second part of the wing, which I've done. It's super thin and very fragile, so you do need to be careful at this part. I'm just showing you here that it's thin. Okay, so now I'm getting my blue glow in the dark powder and where I'm showing you with my brush, that is where I'm putting the powder. I'm not sure if I've already said, but the acrylic powder, this is the pigment glow in the dark powder. I mixed it with white and blue pigment powder, which it glows in the dark, which you will see at the end of the video. Okay, so now I've added all the blue glow in the dark stuff and it's time to come in with the Glam and Glitz Love Me powder, which is a teal shimmery colour. It's really pretty. I actually love, 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 love this product. So where I'm showing you with my brush now is where I'm putting the teal. We're going to try and blend it in like kind of like an ombre, but obviously not an ombre, um, into the glow-in-the-dark stuff so that it's nice fade.
Okay, here it is. I've done both wings. Just got to let it all dry and set up. And I quite like it. I mean, I did mess up slightly, but it is my first go at doing this. I've never done it before. Okay, so now we're going to clear clap over the top of all of the wing um, just to give it some extra strength. Okay, so now we're done. I've clear capped the top of the butterfly wing and they've come off easy. So the next step is to file and smooth off all the edges of the butterfly um, wings, both of them. Because obviously you need them to be straight and smooth because you don't want to catch and scratch yourself with it and obviously you need like this especially the inside to be quite level and straight so that it fits on the ring nicely Okay, so now here is my wing. Both of them I think I, sh I filed on this bit and they're both nice and smooth and, you know, no sharp edges. So now what I'm going to do is turn it over on the back and I'm going to clear cap the back just to give it a bit of extra strength because obviously I want to try and make it sturdy so you can wear it and not it's not just going to snap at the first hurdle.
Okay, so now you make sure you get the right pieces and we're going to just measure up where I want my wings to look on the ring ring when it's done. Because uh, obviously now the next bit is going to be making the body. Okay, now it's time to make the body. You've got to make sure the ring's in the right spot where you want it for the size. Um, and then obviously you need your black ready for when you're going to start doing this bit. Oh, by the way, them two little black things that you see, they're going to be the butterflies antennas. I made them out of jewellery wire um, and I just turned it at the end so it wasn't sharp. Okay, now it's time to start adding the black. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get a biggish bead and put it in the centre here, as you can see in a moment. You want to make sure that the black acrylic touches and covers uh, the metal parts of the ring part that you've made. So, because obviously there's no point making it if it doesn't stay together. So you need to make sure that's secure. And just keep building and adding your acrylic till you're happy with your butterfly's body. And I will leave you to watch this bit. Okay, so here I finished making the body. It's only basic. I'm going to take it off because it's lumpy bumpy and not smooth at all. It's not perfect. And I'm going to just file and shape and, and buff. And then here I am just checking how big it is on my finger and making sure it's all there. So just start filing and trying to smooth off all the lumps and bumps out of it. 
and I'll leave you to watch that. Okay, I got most of the lumps and bumps out. I did stop the camera, uh, pause the camera whilst I was doing that. So the next stage is I decided I wanted the body of this to be holographic. So what I'm going to go and do, I'm searching for some no wipe top coat. And I'm going to paint all over the top of the body where it's all the black is that you're going to see. And then I'm going to cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds, but it's uh, two minutes in the, an, a UV. But I usually like to do it sometimes for 30 seconds, add the hollow and then put it back in. Okay, it's been in the lamp and it's nice and shiny. So you get a, whatever that is and you start putting your a chrome powder on and rubbing it in nicely, making sure you get everywhere because obviously you don't want no black bits showing up if you want the whole body to be holographic. I'd like to apologise if this butterfly shape isn't actually a butterfly shape. I forgot to get a picture of a butterfly to check what the body shape was like. So I apologise about that in advance. So I'm just going to dust off any excess hollow powder. And then I'm going to top coat it with another layer of clear no wipe. Put it in the lamp. And now we are off to the decorating part. Which I'm kind of excited for because I've never actually done any form of nail art with paint before this is my first acrylic attempt it's my first 3d nail so here i am trying to get some black out of this tube but it had dried up because my niece gave me this one so i'm going to find another black which you'll need some black and then i'm going to squeeze out some white and then we'll be ready to start So we're going to start with the black first. You're going to need a brush. You also, I have a shot glass here with some water in because uh, I want to mix a bit of water into the black and the clear just to loosen it up a bit to make it easier to paint with. So as you see, that's me adding the water into the paint with my brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by painting the edges and and do the design all in black so I'm going to let you watch to see what I'm doing because I'm not sure how to explain it
Okay, I've just changed brush to a thinner brush. So I'm going to add like this this line here to make it look like, you know, two wings on each side because obviously they separate. And then I'm going to add some other lines in a moment as you will see. Yeah, like this. I do know that sometimes butterfly wings have this kind of shape in them. And it's quite pretty, so I did like this. So you just do this on both the wings and you make sure you do it on the underside as well. And I will be back when on the next bit. Okay, I've done both the wings, front and back. I've not top coat them yet. And here's me just showing you what it looks like. And I'm turning it over. And my ring is with the butterfly's body is back on it's the ring gauge to keep it so I've got something to secure on. So now we're going to add the wings to the body. I'd got them the wrong way around and it was a bit wet still on the paint. So we're going to line up the wing here to see whereabouts I want it. And then we're going to get some, I'm going to buff here just to take some of the shine from the, um, you know, the acrylic, uh, the top coat. Um, and, you know, we'll do it on both sides because obviously we want the acrylic to stick to the butterfly and not slide off or anything. So that's what I'm doing right here. And dusting off any excess dust. And then we're going to get some clear, as you see me doing right here. And I'm going to add it to the one side obviously to start with in a th like a thin line and work it down as you can see here I'm sorry I'm out of shot on this I'm hoping I move back into shot can't remember if I do or not Okay, so I've put the line of acrylic on there, the clear. It was a lot more fiddly than I thought, so it takes me a while to figure it out. But basically, you're going to set it on to the line of uh, clear you've done and try and keep it in place so it sets up a bit, you know, so it doesn't start to sag. Uh, here's me trying to figure out a way to try and get it to stay in and find, uh, I was looking around my desk whilst I was doing this to try and find something to lean it against.
I found a buffer block to stick it up to against. This was so much easier doing it this way. So now what I'm doing, now that it's I found something to rest up against and keep the wing in place, I'm ap applying a clear acrylic along the join on the top of the butterfly's body and a wing to attach it just to give it some extra strength where it's attaching the wing to the body because obviously it will be quite fragile there and it's not going to be strong so you just add quite a bit uh, but obviously as thinly as you can get it where it's going to still be nice because you still want pretty Oops, I don't know what happened to the light then. So I've changed to a number two brush and I've got the clear acrylic back out. Um, it's still out, should I say. And I'm going to try and add, add the antennas. This bead that I started off with didn't work. So I wiped the first bit of bead of acrylic that I tried to put on and it came off quite easy. So now I'm putting in a small, slightly drier bead and hoping this bit works, which it was still fiddly. But here I am uh, moving the bead, uh, drying out, wet, uh, wiping my brush, trying to dry out and get some more liquid out. And I keep doing this to try and get the moisture out of the bead. and. It took a while but I got there in the end and here we are, I'm still doing that. So I'm now trying to stick the antenna in. It was very, very, very fiddly this and I wish that I'd have thought of a different way to do this. Okay, so here I figured if I put the ring gauge down, it might have been easy. It might be easier to try and put the butterflies antenna thing in, but the thing just kept wiggling about, and I was trying to hold it in place, as you can see, and I start moving the acrylic to try and give it some support around on the metal. I'm sorry, I'm out of shot here. actually add extra acrylic around the antennas but here you see I finished uh, and I've just added some extra acrylic I'm trying to show you where what, what I did on both the things I did find that when I put the bead of acrylic I, um, I actually put a bit of glue and then stuck it in and then now I'm just going and showing you that I'm getting some more clear and underneath, right along where the wing underneath attaches to the body, I'm adding some more clear just to give it some strength underneath. And yeah, that's all goodness there and I love it and it turned out a lot better than I thought this ring, um, so I'm quite proud of it.
so now I'm flipping it over and we're going to do the other side you make sure you do when you're filling it in right across the length from where it's the first bit of the wing touches the body to the bottom bit of the wing touches the body my one wing was slightly bigger than the other which was a bit of a bummer which I didn't know until it was too late Okay, now I've added all the acrylic and I've let it, leaving it to set up. Boom, set up. As you can see, the butterfly is all sturdy. I'm hoping it lasts. I've got it on whilst I'm doing this um, voiceover thing. I've never, I'm not really good at the voiceovers. I will one day probably get better. So now I'm just taking out the backing paper, and as you can see, the clear has gone a bit ugh, underneath because obviously joining so i'm going to take the file uh i started off with the e-file and then ended up with the the file file um to take that down so it's smooth and not sharp and stuff and as flat as i can possibly get it um i'm just making sure it fits here and it looks gorgeous Okay, so underneath this, the clear acrylic went, uh, you know, made it all lumpy and scratchy. So I'm going to wait till in a bit and then I'm going to sort that out. But at the minute, I'm getting this 3D gel polish and I'm going to top coat the whole butterfly on the top. Um, and not the antennas, but obviously wherever the clear acrylic is and anywhere that the nail art is. I'm going to just top coat it, but I didn't end up liking this one in the end, and I ended up putting NSI's Glaze and Go, because that was just miles better, I liked that finish better. Okay, so we're putting it my finger and then sticking it in the lamp to give it some sort of support, you know, because obviously it's not that supported from this angle going in.
Okay, so now I'm pulling it out, and as you can see, it's actually got a quite a nice glow. I was trying to show you it glowing in the dark, but it, obviously it's not that dark yet. And that's me realising that that top coat is actually sticky and gross, and I don't like it. So now what I'm going to do is I decided to try with my e-file to start with to remove that clear acrylic where it's sharp and lumpy bumpy. So I'm, here I am putting it in a drill band thing. And then I'm going to start filing and trying to sort that clear out and make it so it was it's not uncomfortable on your finger. I ended up deciding to go in with a hand file so that I could smooth it right across because this hand file was a good better grit and uh, I prefer hand files to be honest sometimes. This is just me, I put the last top coat underneath and top coated top and bottom again with the neon NSI glaze and go and I'm just putting it in the lamp to show you uh, and this is what it looks like when it comes out, you can see that nice glow effect. And now I've turned the light off and boom, look at that glowness. It's amazing. I love it. Look. So yeah, I've put it on and I've took the lamp off and now you can see that glow's gone. So now that the it's not in the lamp and it's not been charged, it still does glow obviously, but I'm just showing you all the way around and that I've top coated all over the place and showing you it from all angles as best as I can. So there you go guys, I've done a 3D extreme glow in the dark butterfly nails and I think considering it's my first go and I have never done it before, it is absolutely flipping amazing. So if you really enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe and if you could leave a comment if any ideas, I would be greatly appreciated and make everything shine and be happy thanks for watching bye